Welcome back to another episode. Birds are getting up quite highly. We've got one that sort of didn't... Oh, there's another one up there, but the majority of those birds are way, way up there. It's very hard to see, but they are there. See, look at them. That's how far I've got to zoom in, but they are up super high. Um, and then we've got those two that are sort of just cruising around this lower part here. But these are the ten good ones they're heading off out this way now um but they yeah they are the 10 good ones that we have from leon storm and titan and little storm we're putting the emphasis on these guys we're going to get them up and flying the um they're going to be sort of like the baseline so basically my plan is to get them super dialed in over the next few days and then we'll start letting out like beef cake at it um, and then adding in one of the other birds at a time so instead of being drag down back onto the loft by the majority i'm hoping that the majority is going to drag those other birds up into the sky so that's the plan i think it'll work we'll see how we go but they definitely fly a hundred percent better when we've separated the eager birds to the non-eager birds which is pretty good so these two have just missed out on roaming but um with the rest of the flock but i'm sure the flock will come back soon and they can join up with them but they are ripping it they are flying around who's this one i have a feeling these two might be the two youngest ones that we put in there was two no it's not because that one's a blue bar could be thunder actually um just leave these guys cruising until we get the rest of the flock back which could be any time, or we could be sitting here for an hour. So we'll see how we go. I'll just let these guys cruise around. They'll probably do a few more laps, and then we'll see where this other flock's gone, because they are totally disappeared out of sight now, which is exactly what we wanted. So just be patient, see how long they take to come back, but it's a good sign. Good sign. So we've got four back here, which is good. Um, we've still got six that are out roaming. So we're just going to have to wait for them to come back. But I think... I think... I'm just trying to see what Thunder's looking at. But I think Thunder might be one of the slower ones here. Because he is the oldest and, you know, he's only coming out to fly with these guys. So I'm going to wait for those other ones to come back and I'm just going to push them back up into the sky again So hopefully they go roaming for a second round And they take thunder with them because he really needs um A little bit of a push because he's same as all these guys. Oh, what's that silly bird thing there? Some random magpie thing But it looking pretty good Pretty sure these two checkers are the two youngest ones. So they've got an excuse that one, not so much. And definitely no excuse for you, Thunder. So you just wait. I have been pushing them up a little bit. They don't mean on a few laps around here. But I need those strong, those six that are just like, that all they want to do is fly. And they're going to get the, all these together. And we're getting there. We are getting there. Right, they will just come back, which is good. So we've got the 10 back on the loft. Um, and what we might do now is just get them all up together and try and keep them up, try and keep them together, and hopefully they go ranging again, and then they take those birds that didn't go this time. Hopefully they take them with them. Just really got to get these guys, um, well, strong as possible on the wing, like as soon as possible, because, uh, you know, well, I guess once the hawks and that find out that they're here, they really need to, need to be able to know how to use those wings pretty good, so I might just um, push them up a little bit. They don't like this little pole. Seems to work pretty good. If they start to get used to that, then I might put some plastic or something on there, a little bit of bag, just to scare them a bit more. But that seems to really give them a bit of a fright. This is what we want. I think a couple of days of this, and then they'll be um, spot on 
we can probably introduce another bird into that 10 so just got to keep these guys up now so fingers crossed Just got all the birds out while I was giving the loft a bit of a clean. So gave them a bit of a scrape, got all the birds out. You know, there might be some faith in some, you know, with a little bit of faith. I feel like we, if we push them hard enough, they might be all right. Because look at them all up there now together. And the fact we are separating the good ones to really push them so that they set a higher standard for the rest of them. I don't know if that's working, but um, look how high those ones are up. This is exactly what we want. So I feel like the birds are all going in the right direction. There is a few that are definitely strugglers in general, but I reckon the majority should overrule that. I think we've, I think we just got to put the peer pressure on them. There's quite a lot of birds up there. Well, they're all up there flying. They split up a little bit, but they're all up pretty high and they're staying up for a little while. So I reckon if we just keep doing this, keep putting the pressure on them, I should be all right. Still got the odd stragglers, but um, we'll just keep putting the pressure on. At least we can pretty much film the birds anywhere they fly now, apart from when they range too far. We, it's just good, this property, having all this open space. But um, there's not much stopping us now. Alright, it's time to call them in, I think. Coming round. Mob! 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 Oh, you're going to ignore me now. Mob! All right, let's bring him in. Come up. Come on. You're going to miss out if you don't come in. Come on. Any come. Yeah. All right, is that all of his? Looks like all of his. That was pretty good. Good job there. All of his. That was pretty good. I was happy. Pretty happy how they all sort of performed. I think the um, focusing on that the first ten um, 
like we did is pretty good we did that in yesterday's video as well um, I know a lot of people have commented saying doing something similar and yeah you're right it does work it's good and then the rest of them we can work on and then the ones that you know obviously we can't work on and we've tried very hard to do that over the next few weeks we'll definitely push them um, we'll have to push them a little bit harder I think but I, they were flocking together a little pretty good this, this before so if I can sort of um, get that 10 working really good then we might be able to trick all these into doing some roaming they might get pulled up by these guys so I feel like we're on the right track they are starting to improve the um, all those splits I agree with everyone we do need to like, cut down on the numbers and only keep the best ones um, I definitely want to keep bluey um, and the one that I've got at home I'll cross them into either my good blue bars or good checkers when they are ready to breed um, and then we can produce another generation and then the generation after that I feel like they're going to be just as good as any of these birds because I'm going to breed these checkers into them that's just a side project the main aim is to get all these um, I'm going to call my Leo Storm um, and Little Storm and Titan babies I'm just going to call them the Storm the Storm guys Storm Pigeons whatever just to refer to it so I don't have to keep um, referring back to you know Leo Storm, Little Storm, Titan and that um, we'll just call them Storms basically they're all somewhat related to her or Leo or it's just a combination of both so the other ones that our main focus is on is they're just all the checkers and blue bars in here and they are like the nine out of that ten that are doing exceptionally well and they are the ones that I gave to my friend last year and they've done quite well for him so what we're going to do this season is really focus on them as them being our foundation we've got um, another four at home in the nest coming so that'll give us around about 13 which is a pretty good number considering my friend hasn't lost many of them this season um, we did get little storm back so we got her as well who is making all this noise oh up there yeah so that's the plan we'll get these guys focused and then hopefully a couple of these will prove to be reasonably good and we can put them into stock for next season um, and we do have some good crossings because we did cross Little Storm into Titan so those babies can be crossed back into Leo and Storm's baby and provide a pretty good genetic base so if we can get a two to three pairs this season from these birds out of that I'm going to be pretty stoked because then after that next breeding season we can really pump out a team pretty easy there won't be much issue in it so that's the plan let me know what you think um, foundation birds of the this loss of the storm birds so let's just keep on them because they're beautiful look at this one and the fact that um little storm i'd say she's actually becoming a favorite i think she's almost at that level she might even be above storm like the combination of her and leo together she's just this you know medium muscly bird and she's like immaculate her feathers are perfect everything so i'm getting pretty excited for these ones to see how they turn out um come race season when they sort of hit maturity and they look really good so there's a few of the cockbirds there going crazy so i'm very keen to see how a lot of these storms turn out apart from um a little feral there i think he's always going to be that ugly duckling unfortunately he had a bit of a rough beginning in life and if you do remember we did have to um take him under our wing for a while and look after him um, I don't know what happened to him, he's had a bit of a rough life, but I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit subscribe and drop some comments down below. If you want to help out this video and this channel, make sure you hit that like button. I'm going to see you in the next video. Get ready for some more videos.